Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. I'm still on the road, but I just want to do some quick updates and uh, tell you guys how my KS1 and KS0 are doing. Um, let's see if I ROI'd on my KS1. So, uh, so far, I have mined 462,200 CASPA with my KS1, not including, I'm about to get paid out here, I'm at 96%, so that would be another, uh, looks like to about 250 payout my minimum payout set to 250 so let's call it 462,450 caspa that i've mined with my original ks1 um, so that is about eighteen thousand dollars worth of caspa so i paid 16 g's for my caspa mining beast and so technically you could say if i sold today i would have roi'd on the original price but i did pay a very large amount of import fees on my original KS1. So depends on how you look at it. Um, with the KS1 total, including import fees and all that, it was around 20,000. So you could say, depending on your school of thought, I am two grand short of ROIing on my original KS1. I did use that coupon for my second KS1. Um, if you think about it, I kind of paid about a third of the price, less than a third of the price for my second KS1. So if you want to say the average price between the two KS ones, I, I definitely are wide. Either way, I'm holding, uh, hodling, so I don't have to worry so much about ROI. But I think it's kind of interesting, and it's good to know, um, you know, what your ROI projection is. So as of now, I ROI on the base price of my first KS one long ago. Uh, but also, let's take a look at the price of CASP. The price of CASP is helping me out with that ROI, as you guys can see. 0.03842 cents per cast. It was it was uh, at pretty much four cents right here. 0.03978. It wants to be four cents so bad. Just look at it. It's trying so hard. You can do it, Caspa. Come on, Caspa. Um, so anyway, yeah, the KS1, OG KS1, is stomping it. I mean. I, I love this thing. My uh, my KS1, my first one, is a factory freak, though. I mean, I'm I'm always getting 1.1 tera hash per second with this KS1. Um, it's got three hash boards, um, so the design must have changed. My second one, I think it only has two. Um, I haven't taken uh, anything apart on these. I'd, I'd have to, like, peek past the fans. But everyone that I've talked to has two hash boards on their uh, newer batch KS1s. And my newer batch KS1 is only getting about... I don't know, like 980 terahash, like boohoo, right? 980 terahash. Um, it's still doing really good. But this original KS1, I mean, think about it. It's like, I almost got like a free KS0, if you think about it that way, because a lot of people are reporting high 900s um, for their KS1s, their newer KS1s that are getting. Um, I'm getting 1.1 all the time in the 24 hour period. So it's almost like I got an extra KS0 for free working for me. That's about 100 giga hash right there, that 0.1 terahash. So, I'm pretty pretty psyched. Uh, I got a, a really good first batch KS1. Um, okay, so let's also talk about the KS0. Um, I did a video the other day showing how I ROI'd, ROI'd on my KS0 if I would have cashed out. But like I said, you guys, I'm hodling all this CASPA that I'm mining with these. Um, so yeah, I'm getting about like 97 giga hash per second with my OG KS0. Um, so I'm getting in 24 hours about 680 uh, CASPA. A lot of people have been asking me how my KS0 uh, is doing right now per 24 hour period. So there's your answer, guys. 680 approximately in 24 hours. And then my OG KS1 Factory Freak Beast is getting 7,675 CASPA per 24 hour period. Um, also, a lot of people are asking me how to change the minimum payout in their CASPA pool. I think it was originally 2,000 CASPA, which is kind of a lot, you know, if, especially since the yield's dropping. You know, if you're uh, if you got a KS0 and you're getting 680 a day, you're waiting all day to, you know, watch it cash out and hit your wallet. So if you want to change um, your minimum setting, not now, I'm doing crypto stuff. I'll be out in a sec. Um, that was my wife busted in impromptu. That was an impromptu, not now, I'm doing crypto stuff. <laughs> so, um, okay, go to your settings if you want to change your minimum payout and just hit this button right here. And it'll show you on another page what your IP address is that you need to punch in right here. Hit the little check mark, and then boom, you can change your minimum payout. It's that easy, guys, if you're on Casper Pool. So a lot of people have been asking me that, and 
Uh, I just wanted to show you that real quick. That's how you do it. Uh, it's super easy. So um, one more thing I want to look at is the difficulty. Um, so CASPA hash rate difficulty, it was um, it was up there earlier. Um, what are we talking here? Two point yeah, two point six three. It's back up there. Two point five seven. It was as high as two point six three, and then recently, it was down to two point two four. And uh, you might have, if you are already on my Discord, you probably saw um, kind of T Swift mention. He's he's got some inside info. He's kind of posting in my Discord. I appreciate the info that T Swift posts too. Um, he was saying that a lot of the <laughs> ice rivers are shipping out. Um, so probably what's going on is they're. I mean, I hate to say it, you know, we're, we're just speculating, but it's probably true. Um, probably Ice River's taking their their uh, Caspa ASICs down that they've been mining on and shipping them out. And their, you know, the hash rate drops while they're shipping them out. And then they get to people and the hash rate goes back up. Or maybe they're plugging a few back in. They, they uh, take some down that they were mining on, get them ready to ship. And while they're taking them down, another batch comes off the assembly line or gets delivered to them however it works and then they plug them back in and boom we're back up so that's just me speculating uh, but t-swift did kind of say like hey you know the ice rivers are shipping out that's why we're um, getting that little dip in the, the hash rate and then right back up again so it's all just speculation anyway everything we do is speculation so um, anyway hopefully this video is helpful to you now that you've seen it hopefully you can change your minimum payout if you want to especially since the yields dropping on these guys um, uh, my my second KS0, um, I, I've got on its uh, on a, an individual wallet, so I'm not watching that one as closely as my OG KS0. KS um, I'm, I'm mining uh, the second KS1 and second KS0 to want my like my big bag wallet, like where I've been mining Caspa for for a while with my GPUs and FPGAs and buying and stuff like that. So I don't have separate statistics in my wallet for like ROIs on those ones. I just figured it'd be interesting to track the ROI in my first two. And that, uh, I did a Twitter poll to try and kind of uh, get your guys' opinion on what I should do. And that's what everyone said I should do. Just like track the original KS1, track the original KS0. They'll be on their own wallets. So watch my journey if you want to, guys. Like I'm gonna keep those on their own wallets all the way through the next bull run. That's my plan, I'm not touching them. So I'll keep doing videos like this where I report um, you know, how my, my yield's doing uh, in my dashboard uh, for the KS1 and the KS0, and I'll report um, like what I've, what I've mined so far and how much it's worth. Um, hopefully these videos are interesting or helpful, and, uh, and you know, it's kind of interesting to me just to watch it. Uh, it's a new newer coin that hasn't hit a bull run yet, and I want to watch this uh, thing all the way through the bull run. I've been mining on GPUs, FPGAs, and ASICs for CASPA, so... Um, I've been I've been kind of like having the full experience of Caspa, what you know how it's going with uh, from start to finish. So it'll be interesting to see it go from nothing all the way to a bull run. It's uh, I love this project. It's really cool. So anyway, uh, hopefully this was an interesting video for you guys. They'll <laughs> they'll get better <laughs> once I get off the road. I just I just don't want to uh, lose touch with you guys. I, I enjoy being part of this community. So um, oh speaking of that, I uh, hope everyone's having fun at Mining Disrupt. I wish I was there. Um, but I got other things I got to do, got family stuff to do and I'm having a good time. So, um, hopefully you guys are having a great time in mining disrupt. Um, you know, I'm sure there's going to be tons of interesting news coming out. So anyway, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter. And also if you guys didn't see my other video, follow me on discord. I, uh, I'm working on getting my discord server, like kind of honed in, but I opened it up to everybody. So, um, you know, come and join me. Talk with my buddies like Fully Electric. Here we're talking about um, Chump Change XD is getting the same uh, on his KS0 that's on Solar. I love this. Like, um, we Fully Electric's great. He's, he's been posting a lot of cool stuff in the Discord. Same with T Swift and all these guys. So, um, check out. Uh, Check out my Discord. Come join me. I'll leave the link in the description, uh, and we can talk about crypto stuff. It's just a good time. That's all we're doing, having a good time. No financial advice, by the way. Um, none of this is financial advice. You guys do your own thing. Let's just have fun with it. So anyway, like, subscribe, hit the notification, follow me on Twitter, and now follow me on Discord. And don't forget, keep it decentralized for the greater good.